Right, Lee Sanchez and Falls here tonight, 48-33 here to Bishop Blonde, district final here tonight here, Coach. With Coach Dustin Barnes and Coach, obviously, you know, never, never the fun, never fun way to end your season. Just kind of just give us your, kind of your thoughts here from tonight. You know, we came out and we did what we wanted to do early. Uh, that's a heck of a team. Um, we had a, had a good defensive plan, we thought, and uh, they knocked some shots down and just got a little bit of a lead that was, you know, just, just a little bit too much for us there in the second half. But we walked into, that, into the locker room and we looked at the girls and we said, you know, don't give up. We want to win the third quarter. We want to win the fourth quarter. We want to win the second half, you know, and let's try to get back in this thing. And you know what? We won the second half. Um, and, and we gave that team a moment of pause there. And uh, that's a good team. And I cannot say it enough about the battle and the never quit that my girls had today. Sir, and obviously you mentioned that second half, good third or third quarter for you guys. You open it with, open it with a run, end it with a run as well. Just kind of, as you mentioned, just kind of talk about that effort that your girls showed here tonight, particularly in that second half when they were down a bit there. Yeah, we just decided uh, we were going to come out and just throw everything at them that we had, and we had we had uh, 16 minutes left, and so we, we pressed them, and we, we got up, and we started playing a little bit more physical defense and gave them some, gave them some trouble. Um, we were able to get some open shots, knock some stuff down, and like I say, I feel like we – we defensively, um, you know, we held them to eight, 18 points there in the second half. That's pretty darn good. So uh, um, that it was just kind of a game of runs, and maybe we should have started uh, pressuring a little bit earlier. I don't know, uh, but that's just a team where you got to pick your poison, and, and you can't really stop them. You just hope to contain them. Certainly, now, as you mentioned, they had a bit had a big run there in that first quarter. Got a lead on you guys. I mean, just kind of kind of take us through what, what was kind of your the thoughts there. Obviously, they were starting to hit things from deep pretty well there for a while. Well, we knew we had to get out on their shooters. We didn't care if they hit if they if they took twos today. It was just we had to get out on the threes. And we were unfortunately we were a little slow to rotations there in the first half. We lost a couple of shooters. They got into some positions we weren't ready for. And and you know, once again, hands off to the, that team. They shoot threes well, and uh, you've got to be in their face. And and so they took. They took advantage of the opportunities that were given to them. Sure, and obviously Natalie Headland, uh, Claire Martin had some big shots from deep there in that second half as well. Just kind of, kind of speak about obviously Natalie final game for her. Claire has a, has a little more time left for her, but just kind of talk about their efforts here this evening. Cannot uh, put into words right now um, what Natalie Headland's meant to this program. Um, all three of those seniors, um, you know Emily Blum, Faith Anderson, you know those girls have come out and they've they've worked hard to to have the opportunities to play this year because they've set behind some other girls for a lot of their their lives and they've worked so hard to get out here, but. You know, Natalie is just, uh, she's been a, a contributing member of this team for four years. Um, she's played in three district championships, and, and you know, one of those we were 26 and 2, and we were as good as anybody. We just happened to have the state champion in our, in our district. And you know what? We might have the state champion in our district again this year. Um, it's unfortunate the way that that's set up, but you got to play the good team sometime. And, you know, I, I don't think that, you know, coming out of this game, LeBlanc probably has, a, you know, has that respect for us and, and what this team has, has accomplished. and, and you know, we're, we're a tough team. Certainly, as uh, four out of the past past five years now, you guys have been in this game here. I mean, just kind of, you know, what's kind of thought for you guys? Obviously, you come up short and all, but nonetheless, still certainly a pretty big accomplishment to be able to get to these games. Now. It is. Some people go through their whole lives and never get to play in one. Um, some of these girls have got to play in three. Um, so, I'm just so proud of them, you know. And to get this far is an accomplishment in and of itself. And so. Once again, we'll, we'll look back at soon and we'll be, be able to reminisce about it. It's sad today. It's a little bit heartbreaking. Um, to whenever, anytime you have to say goodbye to seniors like that and, and ones who you just care so much about. But, uh, you know, sun will come up tomorrow and, and it'll be a better day and, and Wolves basketball will go on and these girls have set a foundation. Well, congrats on the season, Coach, and uh, thank you for your time here. Thank you so much for your continued coverage.